What's up guys? I'm Brittany and this is Wallace Farm and Sawmill and today we're going to be sawing these monster cypress. All right guys I'm back at you again. It's custom cut Friday. Britt's in the back already made the announcement. We are going to saw these cypress trees. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what we got going and what we're going to turn these things into. All right guys so here's the goal. I've got six logs. Now I'm going to show you some footage in a minute of us unloading a bunch of logs. There's actually four, three loads, four loads we've taken in now. Yeah, so they're over here. Um, these are what's been pulled out for today because I don't want to overburden myself. A lot of these are bigger. Um, this guy here is like 20. Of course, there's a small one. That's a 16 foot, like 18 inch. Um, yeah, so I got some, some, and this one here is just an absolute toad. It's huge. This one here is like 26 inch, <clears throat> 12, 12 foot long. But anyway, guys, keep it short and simple and let's get to sawing. I need to get all these logs here cut into uh, timbers. So basically what the customer asked for, he wants to get a 10 by 10 out of this boxed heart. We're going to come in here. We're going to make a slab okay and then we're going to drop down six inches and grab a timber a timber a timber we're going to try to get as much timbers out of this as we can six by sixes ten by tens out of the box tart um yeah and then this guy down here check this one out <clears throat> i'm gonna record this one uh specifically probably do like two or three logs on the video so we don't make it overly long uh because it'll take a while to go through these but i'm gonna do this one specifically on the uh thing or whatever because video See that, uh, well, I'm gonna zoom in here. See the peckiness in the center? Okay, so the customer has asked that this particular log be slabbed, live edge, all the way to the bottom, one inch thick. That's what he wants, that's what we're gonna do. So, uh, let's get it. Say what? Somebody come in here and cleaned all this up yesterday. Hmm. All right, we gotta do some pre-flight things before we get started this morning. Number one, I gotta line this up. Britt's gotta get some water for us. And then I gotta get that clamp down over there. We don't go through much water. What do you say, Britt, every two days? Yeah, three days, really, not much. Yes. Most of the time, you just need a small, small drip. All right, so let's get the head lifted up close to where we wanna make our first cut. That's gonna be, let's see what we got here. See if I can line it down so you can kind of see. There you go. That's at 26 inches. And you can tell down there on the opposite end, it may be a little thick, but I think it'll be good because I think I'll get like a six inch opening through there. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for. Let's get this water back from Britt and then we'll get started. Water delivery, water delivery. It's heavy. <laughs> oh, I'm recording and watching you work again, Britt. How bad of me. <laughs> gonna be some bad comments out there. I know. That's a funny comment I get, guys. You wanna watch me carry the water or you wanna watch Britt carry the water? It's up to you. According to the comments, you want me to do it. <laughs> See guys, I do make him work sometimes. 
It's a little too heavy for me to lift up there, but he's got the job done. Gold star. I got the heavy end of the deal, guys. Right, guys i'm gonna talk about it real quick we made the first cut i didn't like the width i had i wanted a little bit more so i went down one inch again this customer has asked that he gets the most timbers out of this and i have a unique customer in this one because he has a lot he does custom work i'm gonna talk with him i might put his business link in the description below um he has a website he is a unique customer in that he has a resaw of his own and he has a lot of timber frame tools and such that he's able to take these and do other stuff with them once he gets home but his goal is for me is primary breakdown and so on this particular log he's requested that you know now that i got this big wide face here he wants me to go ahead and drop down and get him a timber out of this so uh we're gonna look if we we want to keep the 10 by 10 in the center boxed right so we want the pith right there in the center and as you can tell, maybe hard to tell from here, but we have a long way to center, way more than six inches. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down six inches and get him a timber out of that top. Keep you in the process with us here for those that are really interested in the sawmilling portion of this, guys. We're gonna drop down and get that six inch timber. Britt's gonna go ahead, run over here and dump this slab off because we were just thinking probably be best for us to just bring our forks right alongside this six inch timber and then we'll slide this end off and that end off right onto the forks here's an interesting uh little thing with the see we got we're at 25 right our first cut was 26 and we dropped down one more inch but you know with this one you can just count your clicks or you can watch your scale so i mean i know we're going to 19 but we could just go watch this one two three four five six inches 19 inches and let's get it
right guys we're gonna bring the forks in close got Britt operating the tractor I might need to move out the way here what you think all right you gotta come to the center you gotta back out we gotta get to the center so we got to get it centered up so we can balance it out. And then we're going to slip this timber off. And then we're going to turn this up. Try to get another timber out of the top. As you can tell here, we're shooting for the box in this heart at 10 by 10. And we're going to get timbers off the side. Oh, come down just a touch. Oh, right there. Up just a little. Maybe I should have kept her where we're at. There we go. That'll work. Lock your brake. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this timber off here. You got enough bite on there? There we go. All right, hold that. I'll go to the other end. come up here to the other side we wet down here showing the grain but look at this guy it's kind of just an old Neat texture. yeah it's got a cool look to it not sure if that's an old injury or something but it's solid it's, looks good let's turn this guy up get another timber out all right guys we're going to turn this log around we don't have a uh I don't think we're gonna need the tracker. It's pretty round. I think we're getting two of us on here. We can make make something happen here. You ready, Brett? Get you a good grip. Ready? Yep. One more flip, guys. Thank you. 
last little section here we're gonna do. If you catch the end of that time lapse, you can see Brittany go beast mode and stand that up. <laughs> I don't know how she did that, but she did. She's strong. Strong. All right, guys. So, like I said, the goal of this was to get that 10 by 10 out of the center. We have a 10 by 10 here, and if you look, check it out. What's gonna be right in the middle there? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here probably at 17 inches, take that off, get a one inch board at 16 inches, drop six inches, and that should put us right above that, giving us a box tart, 10 by 10. Great, you gonna finish it up? take him a, a beautiful two by ten right here. They're gonna move a few of these boards so we can see some of the grain on there. They're very excited about how it turned out. Slide a few of them around and see what we got.
Lay it up, Charlie. Look. That's a beauty. Let's get over here and I'll get this side of it. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's got the uh, pecky in there too. Lay it down. You got a book match here. Well, that, do a book match. Yeah, that would be a, Pull it over a little bit. That'd be over 40 inches if you, you straight line this one and that yeah. one, you get over 40 inches there because they're 22 to 23. Let's flip it back over, Charlie. Lay it in there like it. Those are really, really nice. Like this. Yeah, that's good. Also liked on this one how the heart yeah, you ran. Got, you got to pick it. Yeah, it moved around there. Yeah. It looked really good. Like a river going through there. Alright. I believe there's another two on down in there. Black green. Man. These are old, old trees. One knot in that hole, maybe two. Yep, that's the two inch right there. This is two. Mm -hmm. Processingwood.com and a lot of specialized projects. All right, and we're excited to get this cypress cut by Tyler, and uh, this is just the beginning. So yeah, going. we got a, a lot more to go, and you'll see him on here. What probably next week when we get over here and get another load of this. But I just wanted to introduce him, and I'm gonna put his uh, website in the description so that you guys can check it out. And you've got a lot of photos of what you do on your website, right? Yeah, yeah, so they'll get yeah. get an idea of what you do. You make some really, really cool stuff. I just want to make sure I included that in here. And as you guys can tell, we have been caught in an absolute nasty rain. So, all right, guys, that does it for this video. If you can see, we're back inside the house. We got <laughs> rained out. I'll have some clips in the very end there, kind of showing us loading that, uh, loading our customer up and everything. We got wet. It got nasty. Brittany got soaked and had to come in. I had to do the loading myself. <laughs> but anyway. I left him with it. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, I want you to check in the description below. There will be a link to our Patreon. If you want to join along there, you're welcome to. And guess what, guys? Oh. We have merchandise now. Now we got merchandise, guys. I got my shirt. We set up an online store through, what's it? Bonfire. Bonfire. So, basically, they're hosting our <laughs> shirt sales for us will be a link in the description. There's gonna be shirts, there's tumblers, there's... Mugs, coffee cups, yeah. um, so, notebooks, so, all kinds so, of things. It's all kinds of things with our brands on there and everything, so I would love for you guys to check that out. We actually had one of our Patreon guys already join along and bought a shirt. He got one before we did. <laughs> thanks so much. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. We're gonna be getting one in. I'll be wearing it in the videos and stuff in the very near future. Mine's ordered. It takes like, uh, I think it says seven to 10 business days to come in. I ordered it like three days ago. So to be here before you know it, that's going to conclude this one, guys. Check the links in the description below. Patreon, merchandise sales. Appreciate everybody following along. And until next time, guys. See ya.